Hello. I read something on Twitter a few days ago talking about the importance of time and practice to beginning artists, and decided I wanted to make it the subject of a video. So here, I'm redrawing one of my very first digital pieces. I have been drawing on the computer since I was about 14, and this particular drawing was drawn when I was 16. I would have gone back earlier, but this was the farthest I could find on my Facebook, so this will have to do. The reason I wanted to do this specifically is because I think it's a good perspective to keep in mind no matter what your artistic ability is. We all have days where we feel like we aren't improving or feel like we've gone stagnant, and looking back at your roots to see how far you've come is a great way to lift yourself up a little. But more importantly, it serves as a reminder that you did this through hard work and practice. Unfortunately, there is no easy trick to learning a new skill, and becoming an artist or improving as an artist is no different. I remember when I was younger and used to get frustrated because I compared myself to other, more experienced artists. I used to wonder why I couldn't make their techniques work for me, or wonder why my work never looked like theirs. Hell, I still find myself frustrated when I look at people who are more advanced. I think it's a common mindset. You think, well they can do it, why can't I? We're both artists. But I don't think we really look into the work that they put into it. I've said it before, but I've never been trained beyond high school art class, nor do I plan to enroll in college for art. While classes are most definitely a helpful tool, and I would never look down on someone who decided to get a degree, I personally believe that someone who has the drive can practice and teach themselves with time. A degree is something that can bolster your ability to get a job in your field, yes, but it's not a requirement to be happy with your artwork. Every time you pick up your pen, you are making small improvements, and over time, those improvements will stack up. Okay, mom mode over. I've actually been super inspired by artists I found through Instagram. Artists like Delightful, Emily Artful, I Am Sketch, and a hell of a lot more. My friends too, but that's a given when you're lucky enough to have such amazing creative people around you. And I'm going to take this moment to give myself this little Instagram plug. I've been posting there a lot more often, a lot more than I post on my Twitter, mostly all my D&D related nonsense and any stuff I end up drawing traditionally mostly ends up on Instagram. So if you'd like to go over there and follow me, go ahead. Speaking of learning from other artists, the tears I drew were actually based off of a tutorial one of my best friends made, and I'll link it below. I wanted them to be super sparkly and anime-esque, so I knew I had to reference hers. Most of my shading changes have been from watching way too much ABD Illustrates for my own good. I swear to god I binged all of his videos in like a day. <laughs> I've tried to branch out into using less gray and more color in shading, and utilizing layer effects. I think it looks nice, what do you think? Thank you for watching! If you like this video, please consider subscribing and following me on Twitter and Instagram. I hope you have a wonderful day!